Okay, hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to do the lip syncing. You can see that we already have a one mouth shape imported, which is equivalent to the AI. So it's when you say A, your mouth looks roughly in this shape, or I, your mouth looks roughly in this shape. So what I did is I created a mouth shape for each of these sounds which you make. Here we see all the mouth shapes which I made. A, I, E, E, T, C, L, O, Q, rest, when he's not saying anything, and U. Okay, I'm going to select all these mouth shapes and I'm gonna import them all into OpenTunes. Uh, we have this AI which we already imported so we can keep that one and the rest are being imported. Now what we want to do is have a look at the sound file. Hi. So when you say H, it corresponds to something like this one. That's the H sound. And I want the O to be over here. Hi. And then the I will be over here. G. The G sound. It sounds like a lot of work, right? So, in order to save time, we are actually going to create a new level, a brand new level. I'm just going to create it up here, new level. And I want it to be a raster level. Okay. And I'm going to call it mouth shapes. And I'm going to put all the mouth shapes into the same raster level. Uh, we have the level strip over here. If you don't have the level strip open, you can go to Windows. Level strip to open it. What we really want to do is create one level with multiple frames. One for each mouth shape. So let's go uh, to our new mouth shape file. And we're going to go to the AI shape. And I'm going to double click on the frame here. I'm going to take the selection tool and I'm going to control C and I'm going to go to my mouth shape and I'm going to go to control V and paste it into this frame. And next I want to insert multiple frames over here. How many do we need is the question. Then so let's uh, create new frames add frames from one to nine step one and we should have a total of 10 frames now because we already had the one before okay ai we already have so let's remove this one and let's copy paste all the remaining mouth shapes until And now we have all the mouth shapes in one level. Multiple frames. Okay, now that we have our new mouth level, we are going to have to link it back to the main body, which we do if you recall using the stage schematics. So we go to Window, Schematic to reopen the stage schematic. And here we have our mouth shapes level and here we have the mouths which we had until now so i'm gonna remove this one which is corresponds to this column just press delete 
and I'm going to make the body legs level into the parent of the mouth shapes. And then I'm going to and then let's move this uh, column 10 over here and next we are going to reposition the mouth a bit better so it looks a bit less stupid up over here and drag down Okay, now we're going to put in the m appropriate mouth shape at the appropriate sound. So the first one uh, which we do is rest and rest is frame number nine. In my case, rest is frame number nine. So I'm just going to go over here and type in nine and it's going to use the rest shape. And he starts speaking over here. And he says, hi, hi is more like corresponding to an open mouth shape, which is this one. So I'm going to put in number six. And then it's followed by AI or something. So down over here, hi, uh, hi, AI, AI is number 10. So let's put 10 over here. We have to drag this six a bit further. Hi, and then rest again. Rest was nine. We need a G over here. Double click, guys. And then another I. AI was 10. Double click, 10. So I drag this 10 over here. And that's how you would do it manually. As you can see, it looks re relatively okay, but it's a lot of work. Doing it manually is a lot of work. So luckily, we have some software out there which is going to do it for us. And one open source software which we can use for that is Papagayo. I installed Papagayo on my computer in Linux, but unfortunately it's a bit glitchy, so I had to resort uh, to installing it on Windows instead. So if you're on Linux, I'm afraid you're going to have to find some other solution. Okay, first we start up Papagayo. Then we go to our Fire Browser and we find our audio file and we just click and drag it into Papagayo to open it. Be careful, it should be a .wav. Hi guys, I wanted to meet my super best tentacle pal. Then down here we have to uh, write uh, the text which we want to lip sync. And as you can see, the text will automatically be put up in the top window. At the bottom of the top window, we see all the sounds which correspond to each word. Next, we need to adjust We can save the file. In fact As you can see, we need to adjust when the individual words occur. And we can do that by moving these things up here. I prefer to start on the right hand side. Hi guys, I wanted to meet my super best tentacle pal. 
Pretty good. When you're done, we're going to export. Just click on the export button down here. And it creates a .dat file. Let's open this .dat file with the notepad. And we see the timing of all these sounds. And next, let's move back to Open Tunes. We're going to use this .dat file which we just created to add automatic lip syncing. It's very easy. All we have to do is right click and then click on Apply Lip Sync Data to Column. And we're going to select our file, which I put in the audio folder of the resources. And here we have the .dat file. I'm just going to control C and control V the path. And I'm going to pick this dat file. I also want to make sure that AI corresponds to uh, what AI looks like, which should be, which is this one, I believe. Drawing 10, if I remember. E is like this. O, O. Oh my god. Oh. You, you. Is this one? If you want to know which sound corresponds to which mouth shape, you can simply look up a lip sync chart on the internet and you will get a result like this. There are different charts, but I'm using this one. And then when you're done, I'm going to click on apply. And let's have a look if it makes sense. We have to synchronize it. Temporarily delete all these frames and move it up. So here, that should work. Okay, let's remove this one. Drag this down all the way to the bottom and let's just copy this and paste it over here. Fill in empty cells. Oh, finally. And one more test. Hi guys, I wanted to meet my super best tentacle pal. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.